What's up, YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Fuel Efficient Channel. Today is August 28th, 2017. My outing number 108 of this year. And as you guys can see from my outfit today, we're going to be fishing using some Cast King gear. Check this out. I'm right next to Newton Lake in Collingswood, New Jersey. And usually I come to Newton Lake to do some bass fishing, you know? Bass fishing, pan fishing. I have caught largemouth bass over here, the Microterus salmoides. I have caught northern snakehead, the Chana argus, all different types of sunfish, right? Including warmouth, the Lepomis gulosus, black crappie, Pomoxis nigromaculatus, and some oddities here and there. But one thing that I don't usually do here at Newton Lake is actually steel fishing. I never really come here to just punch a few rods out, you know, and just sit down and relax. So I figured today this is exactly what we're going to do. So let me go with you guys over the setup. We're gonna catch some bait and we're gonna hopefully catch something a little bit bigger on this video today. All right, I haven't started yet. I, I just got started, yeah. What's going on, man? How's it going? That's good stuff, I appreciate it. Just careful, I got a line here, okay? Yeah. What have you caught today yet? Oh yeah? yeah. That, that's it so far? Yeah, it's just so far. Gotcha, gotcha. I wish you luck, man. I wish you luck. Yeah, good to see you too, man. Hey, how's it going, man? No, it's not like that, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. What's up? Hey, how's it going, bro? Give me one moment. Of course, man. Give me one moment, all right? Let me just tie the stuff on here. You know what, man? Let me take the photo first, because this is going to take a little while. All right. All, right. All good, man? You want one, too? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it. sure, man. I'll take it on your phone. All right. All good? All right, All right, that's great, man. If you send me via Instagram, you know, right? One of these days, I'll post it up. Thank you. I Thank just you. don't know when, all right, man? Good luck. Yeah, nice meeting you, man. Nice meeting you. All right, so check it out, guys. We got to start the day with this very, very simple setup. Size 24 hook. Very, very small, okay? with one small piece of night crawler. And the goal right now is for me to cast right around this area right here to see if there are any types of micro fish. I'm particularly looking for any types of smaller sunfish, bluegill, green sunfish, or some type of killifish so that I can live line it on the Cascade Centron. Oh, there we go. Perfect bait size, check that out. Perfect bait size. We gotta definitely live line this little dude here. Holy moly. Size 24 hook right here. Small piece of night crawler going into the photo tank. Look at that. This is gonna be perfect bait for today. Okay, before anything else, let me just go over the setup that we're using for today. Check this out. I got here with me the Cast King Perigee 2. I'm actually using two sets of these today, both of them medium heavy. I'm pairing it up with my Cast King Centron 4000, which by the way is an amazing reel when it comes to steel fishing, which is pretty much what we're doing today. It's got a gear ratio of 4.5 to 1, which is perfect for this style of fishing. Not to mention that this reel runs in the market for like 25, 30 bucks, okay? This is a really, really cheap and affordable reel of really good quality that I recommend to folks out there, all right? I'm using 20 pounds Cast King Floral Coach on both rods, and at the end, just a little drop shot rig with a half ounce sinker and a small hook, right? We're gonna hopefully be live lining some fish and using cut bait for different species of fish here at Newton Lake. So, all right, now that you guys know what we are using for today, the Cast King Trifecta, let's get the fishing started. All right, let's do this. I got my drop shot rig pretty much ready today. One single hook. We got a live line, this little beast right here. This is perfect size, by the way, 
for live lining catch a huge bass here a newton lake you know what i'm saying there we go just at the back of the soft dorsal so we can swim down there we gotta punch this guy out now ready to catch the eight pounder right here let's do this boom oh perfect bait size another perfect bait size fish look at that this is perfect for live lining no you gotta have to survive fish because you gotta be the prime bait for today look at that dude this is what it brings in the giants right here oh there we go this is gonna be good cut bait all right this size right here is a little bit too big for live lining but in terms of cut bait man i can't believe it look size 24 hook look how small it is on the bluegill's mouth isn't that crazy yeah this is gonna be perfect cut bait for us today guys all right bluegill may the lord have mercy in your soul all right it's dead we can use it as cut bait now we just did it the one rod is special super dead all right so quick update fellas as you guys saw in the video we got our bait for the day check this out we got here one on reserve for live lining say hi to harry the bluegill and then we got his father right here that we're using as cut bait this fish got the one rod one we fishing a special service so check this out i got one set up here on my right side which the live fish didn't get a single bite yet and this one over here on the left, same setup, right? They're like twin brothers right here. We got the cut bait, okay? So I don't know exactly what we are going to catch today. Hopefully some bass, hopefully some catfish. I have never done a lot of steel fishing here at Newton Lake in Collinswood, New Jersey, you know? So I am pretty excited about it. Hopefully we're gonna catch something big, something exotic, even a catfish would make my day you know because the number of catfish that i have caught in this lake is actually really really limited so stay tuned it should be good whoa 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 folks we got a bite here holy moly we got a bite we got a nice bite fish on we got a bite on the cut bait oh dude this i think this is a catfish oh whoa okay nice Newton Lake's got some catfish. I think it's a channy. I think it's a channel cat. It's pulling pretty good. It's pulling pretty good. Centron on action right here. First fish of the day. I mean, first solid fish of the day. Wow, it's actually uh, it feels pretty decent. Hopefully, it doesn't come out, uh, come off. You know, it feels pretty decent. It didn't surface yet. Once it surfaces, I will give you guys a view of the beast. It's coming up, it's coming up. Oh, it's swimming towards me now. Oh, okay, okay. It's swimming to the right side now. It's got a lot of strength, you know? Okay, maybe I will. Oh, dude, it's a nice channel catfish. Dude, it's a nice channel catfish. Oh, man. And it's got a lot of strength, too. Look, it's gonna surface soon. It's gonna surface soon. It's a nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that, it's a nice channel caddy. All right, first fish of the day. Let me unhook this guy over here. There is some channel catfish and Newton Lake. This makes me happy. And this is a, this is a decent, decent channel catfish too. Look at that, this is, this is a decent channel catfish, okay? In the range of four pounds, I would say. I don't know, we're gonna take a quick, quick measure if this guy doesn't release itself, all right? Dude, it's fat. Look, oh my God. Look how chunky this catfish is. This is a chunky catfish. No wonder it was fighting good. Hooked on the side. Oh, barely hooked on the side of its mouth. Wow. Holy moly. Let's take a measure. Let's take a quick weight in on this guy here. Got the leaper on. Got to get my scale. But uh, I would say three and a half. I would say three and a half, 3.75. I would say 3.75 on this bad boy here. 3.75. All right, let's see if this is 3.5 or not. What we got here? 
Oh, wow. 4.14 minus 0.11. Four pounder. Wow, this is a four pounder. So yeah, I was, I underestimated this fish for sure. Yeah, check this out. Final view of our four pounder channel catfish from Newton Lake. First fish of the day, mean catfish right over here, guys. Okay, this is beautiful. This is definitely a very beautiful, beautiful sample. Four pounder channel catfish from Newton Lake. He's pretty much ready to go. So I'm just gonna release the gripper here. Yeah, very nice. First catch on the cut bait right here. Cut bait rod, Centron, doing its job. Our live bait, uh, not so much, you know? But you never know, you never know. Why aren't you stream filming fishing? Hey, how's it going, man? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I watch your videos all the time. Wow, I'm glad. I think you appreciate it. Did you catch anything? anything? I caught one channel catfish so far, four pounds. That's it. I got a live bluegill on this one and cut bait on the other one. So I'm trying to catch a snakehead or a bass on this one and pretty much catfish on the other one. Yeah, we just caught bluegills and stuff, nothing big. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, I'm telling you though, if you catch a bluegill and you chop it up and you just throw it out there, have to wait a little bit, you know, but so there's some big catfish, man. Yeah, we should give it a try. Are you vlogging right now? Uh, not, I mean, I'm filming, but I, uh, you know, it's just I only film the parts where I catch the fish, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Want to be in the video? Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> I'll think about it, okay? Okay. Good luck. Thank you. You too, man. Me too. Oh, what are your names, by the way? Jake. Jake. Sorry? Kevin. Kevin. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah, you guys have a nice day. Let's get a little friend for our blue goo. There's a mosquito fish right over here. Put the night crawler right in front of it. What, it got spooked. Why? Why even it spooked? It's food. That's right. Get it. It's food. Oh, look, look. He loves it. Got him. Got him. Little blue goo. I got a little surprise for you. You just got a little brother. Maybe the bluegill is too big, I'm thinking, you know? So maybe we need to put a little eastern mosquito fish on the hook to actually attract some fish here. Cause seriously, that bluegill has been on my hook lifeline for a long, long while. And you know, I haven't get, gotten a single bite. This mosquito fish is actually good bait. You gotta put it on the hook soon. Being out there forever, didn't catch me a single fish, man. Look, still there, look at that. And still alive too, look. So lively, look. Jeez, swimming like a pro. So I gotta take this bluegill out. Gotta take this bluegill out here and I gotta put the mosquito fish on, you know? Jesus. Okay. You go in. All right, look at that. Still alive. Now we gotta take this little mosquito fish out here and put it on the hook. Yeah, that's right. You, you, it's your turn now back of the dorsal check that out little mosquito fish let's see how is the action oh we got a bite holy moly we got a bite here what are we gonna do jesus we got a bite on the cut bait did it let go oh no it's on oh it's gone oh wow oh we took the cut bait that was a bite anyways let's put the mosquito fish in the water first before it dies let's see how's the action in the water that was a bite man Oh, he's swimming good. Oh, he swims great. Awesome. We're gonna punch this one out there. Oh man, that bluegill is not doing so good. I mean, I understand it's got a puncture, you know, close to its soft dorsal, right? You gotta be all right, buddy? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's about time to give this guy the one rod special. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> May God have mercy on your soul, brother. All right. He's gonna serve as good as cut bait. We are not going to waste this little guy here. We're gonna use it as cut bait. Whoa, whoa, that's a tap, dude. That's a bite, that's a bite. Holy moly, holy moly. I think it's on, I think it's on. Fish on, fish on. Oh, hell yeah. I was getting taps on this rod. I missed it twice. What is this though? Doesn't, is this a channel captain? Dude, holy moly. It's a big eel, man. 
No wonder I kept telling you guys I was feeling bites. It didn't look like a catfish. It's a freaking huge eel. Oh my god, dude. Look at the size of that eel, dude. This is actually a freaking eel that fights. Oh my freaking god, dude. This is a huge eel. And first eel that I ever caught here at Newton Lake, too. I don't want it to tangle my line, man. <laughs> okay, let's get this guy up here. I, for one thing, cannot believe this thing. This eel actually freaking bent my rod, man. <laughs> this is the first eel in a long time that bent my rod. Look at that. Looks like a freaking huge snake in the water. Look at that. Oh my freaking God. Let's see if we can lift this guy. Whoa. All right. You know an eel is a nice eel when you can lip it, okay? I just lipped this freaking eel. That's how, that's how you know this is a nice eel, okay? Dude, this has got to be like close to a pound. We got we to gotta take a measure on this guy for sure. This has got to be the biggest eel that I've seen in a while here from New Jersey. I would say close to a pound. Point, uh, yeah, I would say close to a pound. We got to measure it. Let, let, let's get, get a weight on this guy. I thought it was odd, man. I kept getting taps and taps, and I'm just like, this doesn't feel like a catfish. Okay, I would say one pound. Holy moly, I am really off today. Gee, oh my god, this is my PB American eel right here. My PB American eel, look, this beast, this beast weighs 1.94 pounds, man, minus 0.11. That's 1.83, right? 1.83 pounds. And let me tell you something. This eel right here is well fed, okay? I don't know what this beast has been eating, but look at this. This is the belly right over here. You see that? It's really, really fat. Wow. But needless to say, all right, this is a very old sample of eel. We got to put it back here. We got to release it properly, you know? This has got to be one of the biggest ones that I've seen around this area. Look at that. It's a beauty, man. Whew. A lot of people hate eels, you know. They tangle your line and everything. I actually think they're pretty cute. I actually like them a lot. So let's release this one here. Wow, look at the beast going away. Look, the unagi going away right over there. Oh, <laughs> right over there. I knew it. It wasn't a catfish. <laughs> <laughs> that type of tap, man, that ain't no catfish. Freaking mosquito fish is probably still up here. Nobody wants, look, look at that, I knew it. Nobody wants the poor mosquito fish. Look at this, still alive too, man. Let's see, if we put it, if we put it in the water, is it going to survive? I don't know, I don't know, we will see, let's see, let's see. Poor little mosquito fish has been soaking down there for hours hours whoa, whoa 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 easy look ah it's swimming it's swimming i don't know if it's going to survive or not but but it is swimming right folks at home folks at home it is about 6 p.m right now we have been fishing out here for three hours right with our cast king centron 4000 what do you guys think about it huh pretty handsome <laughs> I actually portrayed the old model of the Centron on the channel just recently right the cast King summer and a few folks came here on the channel and told me that they didn't really quite like the looks of the summer reel you know I mean I don't just like it but I do think that the cast King Centron with its black and blue combination is quite handsome huh? more than the summer but anyways, right, it is about time to call it a day. It was a very interesting day here at Newton Lake, huh? I mean, first and foremost, I can't believe we didn't get a single bite on the live lining rod. I mean, <laughs> you know, I was soaking a, a bluegill, right? And an e Easter mosquito fish unheard of here on YouTube. I'm probably the only dude who ever live lined an Eastern mosquito fish out there, but I soaked it for four hours, man. And you would think, right, four hours time, 
like a little largemouth bass or a little snakehead would just pass by and the snack on it. Nothing. Not a single tap. Every time I reel it in, the fish was still on the hook. I mean, I understand it may have to do uh, it may have to do, have to do with the cold front that we are having this week. Temperatures are start is starting to low, you know, uh, to lower. You know, fall is coming, right? Not not winter. Winter is coming. No, not yet, right? But you guys get the idea. On the other hand, this rod right here, the cut bait rod, did a great job today, huh? We landed that four pound channel catfish, which gave me a good fight. Then we lost a few bites and ended up landing that shiny, legendary American eel that was close to two pounds. Uh, my new PB, actually, American eel. That was pretty tense, man. The eel was pulling, you know what I'm saying? You know it's a good eel when you when it's pulling and you can actually lip it, you know? But anyways, yeah, time to call it a day. Uh, let's release a good old Julio here. Julio, you are one lucky fish. Did you know that? Today, you don't get to die. Look at that, huh, Julio? So, yeah, back you go to the Newton Lake. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, look how excited he is, man. Look how excited he is. All right, Julio. Bye-bye. Man, Julio, come on. Dude, he doesn't want to leave or what? Ah, there he goes, eh? Julio goes back home. And so will we. <laughs> so will I, right? So, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. As always, amazing filming a good video here for you guys out here in New Jersey. I will see you guys next time. Tie lines. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use your cooler a little bit, sorry. Oh no! Oh, no! Get the hell out of here, you little... Oh yeah, oh no, he's, he's like tangled there. Yeah, I know, I know. I got him, I got him. You little bird. Think you can get away with my fish? Get the hell out of here, bird.